Welcome to the tab walkthrough for Logan County Blues, a recent Tune of the Week selection, uh, <clears throat> possibly named for Logan County, West Virginia, uh, a tune that's sometimes associated with Round Peak, North Carolina as well. It was a tune that uh, I think Fred Cockerham played on fiddle. So a fun tune, really fun tune to play, uh, got a lot of energy and uh, kind of uh, blues-ish. It's called a blues, but it's not technically blues form, but it definitely has some, some blues flavor. Um, so it's going to be in the key of D, double D tuning, so if you want to go ahead and get tuned up. Um, and I'm going to be walking through the um, tab for this. I think it's a Branger level three, or maybe three to four. So first, I'm going to show you, play the version that I recently released, and it's the one we're going to be learning. So here it is, Logan County Blues. <laughs> So that's how it's all going to sound. Logan County Blues. Again, we're going to be in the key of D and double D tuning. <clears throat> so that's going to be D on the fourth string, G, uh, sorry, A on the uh, third, D on the second, E on the first, and A on the fifth. All right, so. A, D, A, D, E. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the tab view and I'm going to walk through the, the each measure by measure. I'm going to play each measure. This little blue box will denote what measure I'm playing. And if there's anything that I think needs clarification, I'll stop and clarify. So we begin with a roll here, maybe a variant of the Gal Galax lick. Um, so we're fingering the fifth fret, and then we're dragging so that our first note, I mean, our, our note on that fifth string there is actually our first note of the next measure. Sound, and I'll play through this whole, this whole top line in a minute. It'll be a little easier to hear how, how that fits together. So this next measure sounds like this. So we've played that fifth note. One more time. Okay, next measure. Next measure, just a little bit of a variation. This tune has a lot of places for little variations. It's really a good one to experiment because you can do, it's kind of a, a jam tune where there's, where the, um, there's not, it's not a lot going on melodically, which gives you a lot of opportunities to mess around with the melody. Okay, this last measure. 
So you see, I just changed up what I did there, even though the basic melody is staying the same. Okay, so now everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. So case in point here, in this first measure, we're getting we're getting our melody note on that fifth string after a Galax lick, so kind of a syncopated. Then we just do it straight. And we do it straight again, but we end with a drop thumb instead. Just to keep it interesting, okay? Now we're gonna go to the next measure. It sounds like this. So you're bringing that uh, middle finger onto the third fret, third string in the second half, which gives you a seventh chord. Then next measure, just move that whole shape up one fret. Okay, so again, sounds like this. Again, that's a G7. Next measure, same exact thing. Next measure, same exact thing. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. All right. Next measure sounds like this. So again, we have a bum ditty, skip stroke, thumb on the open second, drum thumb. Next measure. Sounds like that. Do that again. Last measure. So all the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry. Closing out this first run through the A part. Sounds like this. And now this last, last uh, two notes of this measure is actually the first, starting the A part again, so it's syncopating. It's playing that fifth, uh, fifth string as a melody note uh, one little beat early. So again, this measure. Now we're gonna skip the next stroke to highlight that last melody note we just played. So this measure sounds like this. Next measure. So again, very similar to how we started out. So this uh, all together at the top of the screen, everything sounds like this. Again, mostly familiar territory since we're running back through the A part, just a few little variations. Here we go again, like we did before. Swoops. Then we're gonna shift up to that G7 chord, one fret up. We're gonna do that same thing three times. All right, so this all at the top of the screen sounds like this. Next measure. And again, as before. Once again. And close out as we did before. Sorry. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Now we're gonna close out this second time through the B part. And now we're into the A part, I mean the B part. <clears throat> so first part, first A, B part, we're going on the low part of the banjo. Sounds like this. So again. And that's it, that's it. Actually, I think on the tab I have it, that second half there is that alternate string hammer on, so the open third, 
and then hammering on to the fourth fret of the of the fourth string. All right, next measure. Next measure is exactly the same as before. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Next measure sounds like this. Next measure. One more time. Now we're gonna go to that A chord. Everything here is pretty straightforward. Next measure. This should be that. Now we're gonna close out this B part first time through like this. Now we're gonna do another run through the B part, but we're gonna raise it an octave. So now we go this uh, second time through, it starts like this. So sliding up two to four on the second string, and then on my, with my index, then I'm bringing my middle down on the fifth fret. And then I do that drop thrum on this first, on the second string there. Next measure. All right, last measure here. Same as the other one we did. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. All right, next measure. Next measure. Same as that slide as before. But then we're gonna go back up second fret, pull off second fret to open, and then play that D chord. So again. Now to the A shape. And end like this. So, there, that second half of the measure, again, we have an alternate string hammer on, playing the open second, so right here, and then I'm hammering on second fret of the third string. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Last note of the song. Ba. All right. But if you were gonna play it again, and then you could go back to the beginning. Or you could do, you can start that, start it on that roll. And so on. All right. That is all she wrote for, whoops, the um, tab walkthrough for Logan County Blues. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to um, ask in the comment box at the bottom of the Breakthrough Banjo Virtual Classroom. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.